lights, camera, action. What's up everybody, Sujan Patel here. Today we're gonna to talk about content marketing trends of 2017. So first and foremost, social video is a big thing. It's bringing video back, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, or Stories, even LinkedIn has video. And don't forget about Snapchat, one of my favorite channels for goofing off and talking about marketing. But um, video is a big thing, it's coming back. And it's definitely an open market. It's actually a race to see who wins. So definitely invest or consider investing into that as a content marketing channel. Number two is create content off your website. What I mean is write where your audience is, figure out where they're reading and create content there. Um, it's very, very powerful because you reach a lot more people, a wider audience. And if you write it on your site, the authority is minimized because it's your brand, your company, but if you write it for a quote unquote neutral site or a third party site, it's a lot less, um, it's a lot less biased or at least perceived as being biased. Next thing is visuals. Visuals are very, very important. It can help you stand out and I'm seeing more and more people leverage visuals. Um, every single piece of content can have multiple visuals, customized uh, images, videos, what have you. Uh, it's getting more and more popular. No longer is somebody creating a blog post with just a bunch of words underneath it and whatnot. Next thing is becoming more and more competitive. You can use storytelling and visuals to stand out. What I mean by this is show your human side. I talk about this many times before, uh, but talk about what you're going through, talk about what you've experienced or what you've gone through, tell the CEO story or why you're doing something. Anyways, give people a reason to care. It could be the same article as, you know, let's say you're talking about 10 ways to use Instagram for marketing. If you included three or four, uh, three or four stories or one or two stories within that article, that's gonna help you stand out. Or if you give 10 tips, based off your experience, that's way better than just saying, hey guys, here are 10 different ways to use Instagram for marketing. You know, it, it, it's very different. And same with visuals, right? If you apply that same storytelling with visuals, maybe examples of what you've done, it's even better. The next thing I'm seeing is a lot of influencer marketing. Um, there's two parts of this. There's influencer marketing, like getting quotes from influencers, expert roundups, including people in ebooks or you know getting influencers to contribute to your content and then influencer marketing on the other side like e-commerce companies or big brands are getting the Kim Kardashians of the world or people in in the business space um, or people who have a big following to to talk about their company or to promote their product so both sides are becoming more and more used day to day and it's kind of hard to tell what's real and what's not, which is essentially the point of influencer marketing. And lastly, what's old is new again. Things like email, it's an email renaissance these days. Email is actually a big way to do it, uh, to communicate with people. Text message is, is a new way, but email still freaking works. Uh, print is coming back. Not that you can get the same quality or volume you used to be able to with print, but people abandon print over the last five years. And so you can leverage this because it's a channel that is not as um, saturated or as competitive. So you can stand out. In fact, you can take all that content you create on the web and print it out and mail it to people and they will think it's, they were gonna think better of you or they're gonna like it. So what do you think is happening in the content marketing world this year, next year, whatever? Where do you see it's going? Definitely leave a comment below. I wanna hear from you. All right guys, until next time, take care.